There's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Oh. Hey, what is up all my social climbing friends? It's Dustin and I am back with a very impromptu video. I woke up just a little bit ago and I found out that Jeffree Star actually addressed everything that I discussed in my video yesterday in regards to the hair and or fibers that were being found in his palettes. Jeffree posted a very lengthy explanation as to why these fibers were found in the palettes that customers received. And he also said that this has been being investigated for a week or more. If there is one thing that I do know about Jeffree Star is he is on top of every Everything. Usually if I DM him with something, he's already like, girl, I already knew that. But in this case, I had not seen everything that was going on on Twitter because a lot of this also happened when I was very sick. Jeffrey even posted a statement from the lab that produces his makeup that I am going to read for you now. And then I'm going to play the Instagram story for you guys because I know that a lot of you do not have time to watch Instagram stories or you may not even use Instagram. So here's the statement from the lab that produces Jeffrey's products. This is addressed to Jeffrey and it says, Dear Jeffrey Star and Team, regarding press ribbon fibers found in pressed powder. We concluded our investigation. The source of the fibers are from the cut ribbon sheets that were pressed into the product. We have implemented multiple controls along the process to mitigate this and prevent it from happening in the future. One, conduct an awareness meeting with all employees regarding the seriousness of this issue. Two, eliminate the use of scissor cut ribbon for all pressed powders. 3. Add black light to our inspection protocol to see fibers not visible with the naked eye. 4. Discuss with our Italian ribbon sources if they conceal the edges of the ribbon. The process by which cosmetic powders are made into their final products requires the use of pressing ribbon that is placed between the product and the metal pressing tools. This ribbon not only allows the tool to press the powders into the pans, but also has a great impact on the texture and performance of the products. Each shade contains different types and amounts of pigments, shimmers, and pearls in the formulas which impacts how the ribbon and the product interact and thus the look and performance of the products. By using various combinations of ribbons materials, we can achieve the desired texture and finish on all the shades and formulas. Pressing ribbons are made of 100% cotton, nylon, or synthetic polyester fibers that are smooth, soft, inert, non-toxic, lightweight, with high resilience. For this palette, we use multiple combinations of these pressing ribbons to achieve the beauty and performance of the product. Some of these ribbons come in sheet form, while others are cut with scissors to fit specific needs. Please know we are taking immediate measures to prevent this issue kind regards Julio. And to me, this sounds like a very, very specific way to address this because you know, if you cut a fabric, it does have like little frays and this completely makes sense to me. And if you're pressing something very hard, such as a pigment, it would make sense as to why fibers could have been embedded into the actual pigments in the pan. So with all of that said, I'm going to play the Instagram story and then I'll come back with my final thoughts. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hello. How are you? All right. So I want to come on here a little bit. I want to talk about something that has been going around on the internet um on twitter there is a post where there is a girl that shows pulling out a fiber from her mini controversy palette um it is all over twitter and a lot of you are asking for information what the hell is it now over the last few days i have been investigating these claims with my lab and i have a full answer and i am excited to share it with you guys so everyone can see what exactly happened. Now, full transparency, we made over 1.1 million eyeshadow palettes. My customer service team has received only 35 emails um, with an issue, so I just wanna be fully transparent with you guys always. 35 palettes out of 1.1 million have had issues. That is 0.000%. I pride myself on my now you guys know I really pride myself on my customer service. Jeffree Star Cosmetics has been in business for over five years now. And I always like to come directly to you guys to the source and explain everything because a lot of people are trying to call me, like they're trying to come for me and Shane on a real level. Like, are you, like, are you guys gonna address this? You guys, I heard about this a week ago. I'm fully investigating everything. And a lot of people are trying to put this next to the Jaclyn Hill lipstick launch, you guys, stop. I address everything fully. I'm not blocking anyone. I'm not deleting my social media account. Um, and that's no shade, but that's not how I handle things. I am always fully transparent. So um, to compare my situation to someone else's just is not fair. So the 35 people that have had issues with their palettes, a few people have tweeted them. Of course, you guys, it looks disgusting. Full tea, like girl, I, my, like my lab needed to explain themselves. So I wanna show you guys a clip of what happens when we press the eyeshadow palettes. There is a ribbon in between the... So when they are pressing the eyeshadows, 
um, with all the pans, they put a piece of ribbon and material in between the metal and the eyeshadows, and they are pressing it in between. Now, I do have a full statement from my lab that I'm going to share in a second, and I would love to share the clip of a video of them pressing one of the shades. Um, let's roll it. So as you guys can see from the video, that piece of fabric, now if that is not changed out enough, sometimes there will be a little fraying. And sadly, 35 people did get a little piece of fabric in their eyeshadows. Now, it's not toxic, it's completely safe, but it's still disgusting, it does not represent my brand. So anyone that has had that issue, please of course email customer care. And anyone that already has, full refund, brand new palette, it's just that easy. Um, now, my lab did send me a full thing of the exact explanation and what they're going to do in the future to make sure that never happens again. Let me put that up. All right, so quickly, I just want to say thank you to everyone that brought this issue to my attention. I was shook when I saw it. So now that I have a full explanation from my lab, I feel a lot better and at peace. But of course, the internet does spread false information, and I just wanted to be fully like clear that that is what's going on um people will of course run with stories say whatever they're gonna say so i like to nip things in the butt early and just deal with it so of course if you guys have any more questions or concerns or if there's anything wrong with the product always email customer care i have a full team and a full staff that is there to help monday to friday um now of course 99.9999% of you have a great product. Everything is amazing. So if uh, you don't care about this, skip forward. But thank you guys for listening always. And um, I will talk to you shortly. I know a lot of people are going to say I'm biased or whatever, but I honestly believe that this is the way that you handle a situation. Jeffrey didn't immediately pop off on Twitter. He didn't pop off on Instagram. And he didn't say that he was going to run from this. He didn't say anything. He had everything properly investigated and then got a statement from the people that produce his products and then brought that public for all of us to know about everything that was going on. This is definitely something that Jaclyn Hill should take notes on going forward. This is how, in my opinion, you handle a situation. You don't get hasty about anything. You just wait for the straight facts. And that is what Jeffrey gave us. And that's exactly why I said that I was not going to cover that story or put anything on the internet without having some kind of background information. And look here, a day later, we got it. Shortly after Jeffrey posted this Instagram story, he did tweet out a few things that I'm going to read for you now. He said, hey, everyone, it's come to our attention that a few dozen people out of 1.1 million pallets produced have a few ribbon fibers embedded in their products. The lab has done a full investigation and we found the issue. I pride myself on quality and fully apologize for this error. 100. And then he attached the statement that I read for you guys and then he tweeted out the following. Here's a clip from the lab of how we press the eyeshadows. Moving forward, my manufacturer will make sure this never happens again and have put in place several precautions and steps to avoid the ribbon issue. You all know how serious I take my company. Thank you for listening. And he followed that up by one final tweet and said, anyone that has any product issues with any J SC product. My customer service team is available Monday to Friday. 100 pallets that were affected. We have sent out new ones and also given a full refund because that does not reflect how my brand should be represented. Honestly, in the beauty community, all of these people that have these brands that don't like to address things, they need to take note. And for only 35 people to be affected, that is a minuscule amount. And at least we all know now what this came from. It didn't take us waiting on all kinds of lab tests and this, that, and the other. The whole rigmarole that Jaclyn Hill gave us when Liz lipstick gate went down and like I said in my video yesterday I did not think that it was a fair assessment for us to say that this was anywhere near that caliber of a scandal but you guys I'm glad that Jeffrey addressed this I'm glad that we have the information now on what this came from and that it was the ribbons but it's that time where I ask you what you think please let me know what you think about this down below because it doesn't seem like that many people were affected. I'm glad Jeffrey addressed it and I'm glad that he brought it to the attention of everybody. As always, I hope you all have the most amazing day ever. Let me know what you think down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.